Hey you guys, welcome back to the my channel. Today we are making a Spanish style pork chops, rice, and beans. So right here I already have the pork chops um, washed off and clean. And I'm going to season them. And it's going to be hard for me to do it with one hand. But um, I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks when I season them. These are some of the seasonings I will be using. Some Goya Saison. These are some of the seasonings I will be using to season the pork chops. Some Goya Saison. This is some salt-free um, seasoning. It's like Mrs. Dash. And some complete seasoning. Um, Goya adobo seasoning some oregano and then I'll be using some of my house special seasoning okay so now I have the meat all seasoned over here let me show you seasoned on both sides I had it sitting marinating for about a half an hour and so I have my pot. Let me see if I can get that down in the pot. I have the pot heating. Sorry. Let's get that in the aim right. Um the pot is heating. And now I'm going to add some olive oil. <clears throat> just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. We're not going to fry these. We're just going to like saute them for a, a few. We're not getting it brown. We're just cooking it because I have so many. And so I don't want to put them all in a pot at one time and everything doesn't cook evenly so we just gonna um cook a few pieces and then we're gonna add them all together at once i show you Like I said, it doesn't have to be, we're not frying them. Oh. Try to make sure I get you closer in there. Let me try to adjust it. So after a few minutes of cooking on one side, I'm going to flip it over. We're not cooking this till it's done because once I get them all like pre-cooked, then I will show you the next step. So I'll come back and show you that step. So now I'm going to start flipping them over. Trying, trying to record with one hand because my tripod is acting up. You want to be my cameraman? Uh, 
good help is hard to find. So you see, it's not really cooked all the way. I don't want to say I'm browning it, but it's like just a light saute. And I'm going to go another two minutes on this side, and then I'm going to do the next batches, and then I'll come back and show you um, what's the next step. Okay, so this is the last batch of pork chops that I'm making, and I'm going to um, flip it over. I hope you guys can see me flipping it over. Try to get over it in the pot. It's hard to see. Part keep tilting down. So now I'm gonna add the pork chops back in there, and see it doesn't have that much oil in there. And at this time, I'm going to add some onions and green pepper and garlic. I already started cutting up some green peppers and I'm going to cut up this whole onion. And we're going to add some garlic to it. I'm going to cut the onion up. You see that? I know it's a difficult angle. But we're just chopping up the onion. And we're going to put it in the pot with the with the pork chops.
we're gonna add some garlic. Now we can stir it up. So now at this time, I'm going to add some water. I like to add hot water so it can keep the temperature at the same level instead of putting cold water and then it drops the temperature down. So just halfway, not to cover it all. And then I'm gonna add um, two more packages of this Sazon Goya. Don't worry about this being right on top because it's going to cook in and all of it is going to get distributed throughout the pot. So now I'm going to add a half a can of Goya tomato sauce. Stir that in. And then we're going to let this cook for about a half an hour until the pork chops get tender. <laughs> So now we're going to start on our pink beans. This is my interpretation of Spanish style beans. So we're going to add two cans of beans. This is what I use for my family. The sauce and oil. I like using this one with the sauce. This already comes with seasoning, but I just like to add 
my personal touch, more seasoning. And I'm adding like less than half a can of water. Then the remaining half a can of tomato sauce that we had. Gotta get the rest of that waste not, want not. Then I'm going to add some fresh garlic. A teaspoon. And then... I'm going to add some sofrito. This, I usually make mine, but sometimes when I don't feel like making it, I just pick up this Goya brand. Um, this is basically onion, garlic, green pepper, cilantro, culantro, and other um, seasonings and herbs in there. And that's about three teaspoons. And I'm also going to put some of this sofrito inside the pork chops. Then we're going to add a little bit of oregano. About a te teaspoon. We're going to add some Goya adobo seasoning, another like teaspoon, or however much you want, some complete seasoning, and then this is my touch where I like to add my um, special seasoning that I make up. And then we're going to put some olive oil, about two tablespoons. We're going to mix that up. And then we're going to let this Simmer and cook for about 20 minutes. Because basically the beans is done. You're just really heating it up. But I just like to cook it a little bit longer just to give it like that all day cooking beans type of, you know, slow cooking. And I'll be back to show you the next steps. Okay, you guys. So I came back because it was some things that I didn't get to show you that I want to show you as I'm putting in the pot because I don't want to leave out anything because I want to show you how to make this meal step by step by step. So... First into the um, pork chops, I um, forgot to add, um, oops, sorry, <laughs> the steam from the pot, vinegar. But I just wanted to show you the vinegar that I use, but I already measured out um, like two tablespoons of vinegar, and I'm going to add that into the, um, the pork chops. Then also, in the beans, I wanted to add some more onions and green peppers because that's just what I like. And I'm going to add a sasson packet in there. Um, I didn't add it before, but I know 
I, I have to put this in there, but I want to show you guys. But since I can't do it because I only have one hand, I'm just going to let you know I'm going to add that in there. And then also, in the pork chops, I wanted to come back and add the rest of the um, sofrito that I told you guys that I was going to put in there. So I'm going to add that now. And then in both of the pots, I'm going to add some cilantro. Now, I have it in this water because I cleaned it. And I'm just going to add it to um, both of the pots. Okay, so I'll be back to show you the final steps because these have to cook for a while. And then that is it. Bye. So I'm back and this is the last thing that I'm going to put into the um, pork chops. And I just want to show you guys this step. So here we go. This is, um, adding olives is op optional, but my family, we like the olives, so that's why I'm, I, I'm adding them, but you don't have to. I'm sorry you can't hear me for the noise, so, because my, um, fan is on, but, um, I just wanted to show you this step, and then I'm going to come back with the final step of everything plated, and this is the beans. The beans is over there cooking. And this is the pork chops. So I'll be back to show you how I plate it up. 